to my channel. I'm Hannah if you're new here and if you are it would mean a lot if you really clicked right here or down below and hit the subscribe button so you can see every time I post which my summer schedule has been Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's been really fun. So today's video, okay, life hacks videos have been such a rage recently and I was like that's not really like my channel and whatnot. And then I started paying attention to like my everyday routine and I was like whoa I actually use like a lot of life hacks like almost every day when I'm uploading to YouTube or like getting ready in the morning or just making myself a drink so I wanted to share this with you not just because these videos are like super popular but because I actually use these and I actually think these are gonna help you guys too so I did not research like a bunch of life hacks just to try out and show you guys these are actually what I use these benefit me and I think these are gonna benefit you too just getting that out there with that being said let's get started on this video Nobody's gonna love me like you. My first hack is for traveling. Actually, my first two hacks are for traveling. I use this mostly when traveling, but this of course works anytime. So, you know, you do the whole typical thing of rolling up your clothes to try to save wrinkles and save space, and then you get to your destination and you pull out your t-shirt or whatever your wig and it is all wrinkly, and you don't have an iron maybe in your hotel room or you don't have time to use an iron or a steamer. This is awesome. If you're planning on taking a shower or even not taking a shower, you can just <laughs> run the water. You can put that clothing on a hanger and hang it up near your shower, close enough where the steam will hit it, but far enough where it won't go wet. And my mom taught me this. I've been doing, I've been seeing her doing this ever since I was little. So this is a well-used hat. And I would say like 20 minutes or so, you will start seeing the wrinkles disappear and it's just like a steamer using your bathroom, especially if you're in a hotel bathroom and your bathroom's really small, then it'll steam up really quickly in there and it will um, wrinkle your shirt. So there you go. You can do this at home or while traveling. Stuck in limbo, half hypnotized. So my second life hack is also for traveling. It is if, you know, you have really stinky, maybe like your workout shoes you're bringing on vacation or just like sneakers in general or like chacos, they all get pretty smelly sometimes and you don't want to put them in your suitcase with the rest of your clothes because it'll just like stink up your suitcase and all your other clothes will get that gross smell. You can either put those shoes in a large Ziploc bag or I like this better, say they're tennis shoes, you can spray socks, clean socks, with a perfume or body mist, put them into your tennis shoes and it'll help the scent in there. And you can also spray the rest of your clothing, just like a light spritz over your clothing once you're done packing, with that perfume or body spray. Then when you get to your destination and open up your bag, it will smell great and fantastic. And it's sort of like Abercrombie and Fitch, you know? I don't really shop there, but if you, I used to shop there and when you would bring clothes home from there, they would smell like the store because they like spray perfume out of the ceiling there and it has that really nice smell. So you can do that yourself just by packing. Smell like your favorite scent without even having to put it on because it'll be on your clothes. We bump into each other on a crowded street. My third life hack is for all those Spotify users out there. If you don't have Spotify Premium, this is for you. And actually my friend, Indra, she taught me about this hack and it is amazing. So what all you have to do is press three little dots on the side of the song. You put add to playlist and you create a new playlist for the song. You can title it whatever you want. And then you press shuffle play and since that's the only song on the playlist, it has to play that song. I mean, this doesn't get rid of ads or anything. But if you want to listen to like a certain song right then and there, you can easily do that. And of course you can delete the playlist once you're done or keep it if you're going to be listening to that one song a lot. And you can do this with as many songs as you want. I was good on my own, that's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the love for a so I forgot to add this hack in, but it is to get rid or prevent razor burn after you shave sensitive areas. So in the summer, you know, shaving can be a real pain, but I have used this for about a year now, maybe two, and it's amazing. So it is aloe vera liquid. You can buy it at like health food stores. I just got it in this huge jug. It's pretty cheap and it's scentless. Make sure it has no scent. It's just pure aloe vera. I put it on a little cotton pad and I apply it wherever I have just shaved it moisturizes it without irritating and it's also great to use as a moisturizer like on your face so obviously you get a different cotton pad but it is great natural moisturizer that like will help balance out your skin's ph definitely love this hack for the summertime tip number five is for silky smooth legs. It is really hard for me, like I always forget to moisturize after I shave in the shower or something like that. However, 
This is awesome. It's going to make all your skin so smoky smooth, so milky smooth. <laughs> So it's for when you're taking a bath. So have your bath, you can put your Lush products in it if you want, or you can just have like a regular bath just with water and just use this. What you're gonna do is take coconut oil, fill it up with the hot water from your bathtub, and let it sink in, like let the hot water sit in the jar because it's gonna melt it. Pour the rest of the water from the jar back into your bathtub and the oil is all melted into your bathtub. You just like put it on your skin or you can even use coconut oil to remove makeup. It's antibacterial so it's gonna be really awesome. It's very gentle on your skin as well. And what's awesome here is you can then take your razor because coconut oil can also act as a shaving cream. Shave while the coconut oil is sitting in your bathtub and you get your shaving cream. And it also moisturizes while you're shaving so that when you get out of the bathtub, you don't have to moisturize. So instead of paying $7 for one bath oil from Lush, just pay like $7 for a whole jar of coconut oil. Tip number seven I think we're at is for when you're getting ready and you're in a rush, because a lot of times in the summer, you know, we don't want a lot of makeup, but we want a little bit of something and we're in a rush, we're trying to get out, get to the beach or pool or whatever. You can also use this, use this in back to school time if you're running late for school, I do this all the time. And it is, it's just use, it's sort of gross, but it's to use the leftover makeup that's on your makeup brushes. So if you haven't washed your makeup brushes recently, you probably still have some foundation on that brush. So if you're in a hurry, you can just, instead of trying to find the product and like put it on the brush and like then apply it, you can just take the little bit of leftover product lightly sweep it over your face. This works great for blush too, because blush and bronze are sort of pigmented. So if you have a little bit left on your brush, you can just do a light sweep. It gives you a very natural look, and it saves you time. Instead of trying to put it all on, you just use the brush, and there you go. Super fast, natural makeup. A little gross, but it works. Uh, yeah. Number eight for the summer is for your smoothies and ice. It is to freeze chunks of watermelon in the freezer. You're gonna cut it up, you can do it into the little balls with like a tablespoon or like little squares, whatever you want. Cut it up, put it into the freezer, let it freeze completely, and then take it out and it's ice cubes, guys. This watermelon's mostly water, it's gonna freeze like an ice cube, except have some of this watermelon sweetness and flavor. And then it's awesome to use in smoothies to make like a slushiness instead of using just ice or put it in like your ice water so that your water, when it, the ice starts to melt, usually it just adds more water to your cup, but since it's frozen in watermelon, it adds like a watermelony taste to your water. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If any of these helped you in some way or you're gonna try them out or you do try them out, send me pictures on my social media and you can check out what other things I'm doing in the summer all on social media I post literally all the time every day and again make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already for summer videos and fall videos and see every season of videos basically so thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and have a great summer stay happy guys peace out i'm so over the game and living for the weekend let me out of this cage so we can stop breathing